third class, I'm Gilderoy Lockhart, five times winner of Witch Weekly's Most Charming Smile Award. <laughs> Today I'm going to teach you the total body bind spell, Petrificus Totalus. Watch my expensive wand as it moves and press the symbols it points to. Do this three times and you will learn Petrificus Totalus. Are you ready? Splendid! Perfection! Splendid! Very stylish! <laughs> Just like me. That's the easy one. Ready now? Splendid! Perfection! Very stylish! <laughs> Just like me. One more to go. Get ready. Splendid! Very stylish! <laughs> Just like me. Very stylish! <laughs> Just like me. You've earned a grade A. Congratulations. You've earned the Defense Against the Dark Arts Lesson Cup for your hard work. Well done! You have now won all the House Cups and Shields. A Founder Famous Witches and Wizards card is now waiting for you in your common room. Excellent! Quite excellent! And so to business. Now, be warned. You may find yourself facing your worst fears in this room. No harm can befall you whilst I am here. Remain calm. Ready? A freshly caught Cornish pixie! Don't worry, I stunned this one earlier. We are quite safe. Ahem, <clears throat> well, I'll ask you three just to put this little fellow and any others back into their cages. Uh, I'll see you after the lesson. Looks like Lockhart wants to give us some hands-on experience. I'll take care of this one. When a pixie sparkle is red, you can use your new spell. Your wand has to be fully charged to stun a pixie. Petrificus Totalus. You can only levitate him when he's been stunned. Wingardium Leviosa. Steer the pixie over the cage and drop him in. Simple. Now you try with the second one, Harry. Ron and I are going to round up the others. Isn't Professor Lockhart wonderful? OK, I'll try my best, but my wand's been acting very funny lately. Catch this pixie first, Harry. Remember, stun him first, then levitate. Petrificus Totalus! Wingardium Leviosa! Harry, I'll make sure these don't escape while you go and capture the rest. Very good, Potter. Uh, you'd better check on young Mr. Weasley upstairs. Catch you later. Wingardium 
Centrificus Totalus, Wingardium Leviosa! Centrificus <laughs> Totalus, Wingardium Leviosa! Well done, you've all passed the test. Obviously, I could have defeated these pixies with just a few twirls of my wand. 20 points to Gryffindor for being excellent students. Isn't he wonderful? Hello, I wonder if you three could do something for me. This Halloween will be my 500th death day. Tomorrow I'm holding a party down in one of the roomier dungeons. Friends will be coming from all over the country. It will be such an honor if you, Mr. Weasley, and Miss Granger would attend. Perhaps you could mention to Sir Patrick how very impressive and frightening you find me. It may help me to get into the headless hunt. I'll see you all tomorrow down in the dungeons. Cheerio! A death day party? There can't be many living people who can say they've been to one of those. I've never heard of a death day party before. Sounds dead depressing to me. The race for the House Cup continues. Ravenclaw? Hufflepuff? Slytherin. Gryffindor. Gryffindor are in the lead on house points. The race for the house cup is heating up. Ah, oh, there you are, Harry. Hermione and Ron are already at my death day party. Come on, Harry, you don't want to be late. Yes, I'll see you in the dungeons. Be quick. You don't want to miss the celebrations. Wattlebird! Did you know that if you eat a chocolate frog, you get back stamina? Yes, Colin, I do. Godric Gryffindor. Have a look at my photo album, Harry. It's on the table. My photos aren't like ordinary photographs. My photos are magic. Come on, Harry, you don't want to be late.
At my party, there's maggoty haggis, furry green cheese, and a tombstone cake. Delicious, eh? This way, Harry. Wasn't that nearly headless, Nick? The Gryffindor house ghost? Yes, Colin, it was. It's brilliant here, isn't it? This way, Harry! I have a special Death Day speech prepared. This way, Harry! I really do think that this will be a death day to remember. This way, Harry! It's Potty Wee Potter. He can't get across. Oh, what a baby. He's all at a loss. The dungeon is a nasty place, but you're fitting with that ugly face. Can't find your pals, Potty. Don't cry. Potty, don't cry. <coughs> Poor old Potty can't find his way to the party. <coughs> Poor old Potty can't find his way to the party. <coughs> 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 
Harry, where have you been? We've been waiting ages for you. Let's go, Harry. May I recommend the mouldy bread and the stinking salmon? Watch out for Peeves, Harry. He's in one of his mischievous moods. Feel free to mingle, Harry. Ron and Hermione are around here somewhere. Happy Death Day, Nick. I think Ron has a present for you. I'll go and tell him to bring it over. Table, Harry. Use your knockback jinx to get the prison back. Let me dare you. The voice was growing fainter, and Harry was sure it was moving away, moving upwards. He began to run, his stomach lurching. Something was shining on the wall ahead. Harry approached slowly, squinting through the darkness. Mrs. Norris, Filch's cat, was hanging by her tail from a torch bracket. She was as stiff as a board, her eyes wide and staring. Foot-high words had been daubed on the wall above the petrified cat. Harry shuddered as he read them. The Chamber of Secrets has been opened. 
enemies of the air, beware. Before Harry could leave, several people appeared in the corridor. When Filch saw Mrs. Norris, he screeched accusingly at Harry. You! You've murdered my cat! You've killed her! And then Draco Malfoy shouted out to everyone gathered. Enemies of the air, beware! You'll be next, mudbloods! Professor Dumbledore calmed everyone down and sent them all to bed. Ron reckoned that he had an idea who the heir of Slytherin was, and both he and Harry went to meet Hermione in the library. I'm sure that Draco Malfoy is the heir of Slytherin. I think he might be right, and if he is, I know a way we can prove it. Polyjuice Potion! Polly what? Polyjuice Potion can transform a person into someone else, even a Slytherin. We could trick Malfoy into admitting he's the heir. To make the Polyjuice Potion, we'll need several ingredients. Lacewing flies, leeches, fluxweed, knocked grass, horn of bicorn, and shredded boom slang. Okay, I'll get the knocked grass and fluxweed. Harry, you can get the leeches, lacewing flies, and shredded boom slang. And I'll get the horn of bicorn. You two had better get to potions class. When I find a place to prepare the Polyjuice Potion, I'll send Hedwig. Silence! Mixing potions is a very precise science. I suggest that Potter, Weasley and Longbottom listen carefully to my every word. This year, like last year, I won't allow any disobedience. Pay attention, Potter. You are going to remind us how to mix a Wiganweld potion. If you remember, you must first activate the cauldron. With this done, you must then press the three symbols indicated until the cauldron fills. Good enough. Only a fool would expect better of you. Now remember, when the cauldron is full, you can activate it to gain the Wiganweld potion. Class dismissed. Hello there. I wonder if you boys could do me a favor. Of course, Hagrid. It's nearly Halloween and my pumpkin patch has been overrun with gnomes. Can you help me to get rid of them? I'll help Hagrid. But I think Ron has some things he needs to do. I do? Like getting some knocked grass and flux weed? Oh yeah, just make sure that you don't forget the boomslang skin, uh, lace wings and leeches. Leeches? Oh, nasty creatures. But if you're after some boomslang skin, I've got some in my hut. Need this stuff for homework, do you? Uh, yes, <laughs> that's right. Homework for potions. All right then, Harry. I'll make a deal with you. Get rid of them gnomes in my pumpkin patch, and I'll give you some boom slang skin. Okay, Hagrid. It's a deal. Let's see if you can get these blasted gnomes out of my pumpkin patch. Do well enough, and I'll give you some boom slang skin. To fling the gnomes, press the square button, which will help you build up speed. The faster you press, the more speed you gain. When you reach the fence, press the triangle button when you're ready to chuck the little pest out of my pumpkin patch. Try and throw the gnomes as far as you can, Harry. You'll get points for distance and extra points for every target you hit. <laughs> 